You guys in the middle of Highway 10 over here in Vail, North Carolina. We're trying to not get killed here. The drone's right below the moon. Here, see if you can aim that drone. Don't hit any button, see if you can get it. Through the back glass, you get it? Here we are on top of the mountain. See the drone? Right there. There's the moon. There's the drone. Where it's always at, following me and my kid. See it now? There it is. And it'll follow me all the way to my home. This is the same drone that was over top of Dollar General the other day. And looky there, I turn around, there's that one. Now explain to me. I'm about 20 minutes from home, which is about about 17 miles from my home up through the mountains. How is it I can stand on my front porch and look out across the field, and that drone's exactly there, and this drone's exactly there, in accordance with me? How is how is that drone always behind me, and then this one was always behind me when I turned around? The same way in Farmington, North Carolina, the same way here, and I'm on top of a mountain. Look at the valley down there. See, I live in I live near the foothills of North Carolina. That's a way, way down there. About 20 miles is my home. This is right at Baker's Mountain, North Carolina. Look that up on the map. Baker's Mountain, North Carolina. But you see, there's the moon, and there's that drone. And there's the other one. Now, how in the world am I making them drones? How, how, how is that a star or a planet? How is it? Explain to me. That's northwest. Where? Right there. I got it. That one, that one right there? Yeah, that one. Yeah, I got it. That's the one that's always in front of the house. But that's a figment of my imagination, ain't it, buddy? Yeah. Yep. It's because we're stalked everywhere we go. And you watch, when I get home, it's going to be, this one's going to be behind my house. And that one over on my right hand side is going to be in front of the house. Same as the other night when I walked to the top of the hill, it was right near the police department. And the one on the right was to the police department and the other one was over top of Dollar General where they're always at. I'm actually shocked they showed up because of all the clouds. But see, well, I'm way on top of a mountain. You see how pretty it is in North Carolina? I think one of the prettiest places to live and one of the best climates you can be in. We used to have four seasons, but now we don't have but two. Well, it's, temperature wise, it's real hot, real cold. Yeah. Did you see that beautiful mountain over there? Yep. It's beautiful out here. That's where that truck was stalking us. Yep, that's where the truck was stalking us. So, here we are, way atop of Baker's Mountain, North Carolina, on highway, on Old Shelby Road. All the way out here in the country, and the drones are following us this far out, just like they follow me all the way to Farmington. And anybody out there saying, "Well, uh, those are just kids off off the internet that are trolls, and they got Walmart drones, and they're chasing you around." Ain't a Walmart drone gonna follow me an hour from home. Walmart drones can't stay up for 12, 15, 20 hours. When I went all the way to Arkansas, the same drones were on me there. Grr. No, they're not going 70 miles an hour, and the danger sure ain't going up five, six, seven hundred feet like these are. And by the way, the regular man in, in America has to, you have to license your drone. That way the FAA knows where it is. Guess what? The FAA has no idea where, where, where these drones are or who they belong to. Just like the person in Colorado when they were chasing it with a helicopter and it had no heat signature and they couldn't find it with the FLIR, with the forward-looking infrared radar. They couldn't find it 
with a helicopter. They went around it 10 times and never could find it. Those are the same kind of drones that are stalking me. But you guys can't get over that this good looking, intelligent young man standing in my shoes could dare be that important to be tracked and followed by the United States government. Maybe it is true. Maybe I do got a lot more than you do. Maybe I do got a lot more sense than you do. And maybe, just maybe, I'm more of a threat to the system than you sheep are. Never thunk about that, did you? I'm Stuart Pidlong, the most targeted citizen with Jethro. Have a good day. Like, share, and subscribe.